Frictions ease, we're taking a closer look tonight at Sweden, which has some of the world's loosest restrictions. The question is at what cost to public health? Here's CBS's Charlie Daggett. With Europe beginning to lift strict lockdowns, Sweden stands as the one country that never imposed a mandatory shutdown. So whatever happened to Sweden? I remember way back when everybody was like, Sweden's going to get it. Millions of people are going to die. This is going to be it for Sweden. Sweden's being stupid, playing, playing with people's lives. And of course, maybe lately you've heard of spikes, spikes in cases in Sweden. And actually looking at the daily change, you're going to see they did. They did have a spike back in October, seeing probably the largest number of cases that they've had in, in, in a single day. But what does the deaths look like in Sweden in terms of how many people have passed away? You can see, as you can see right here, there are 124,000 cases total. With, let's just say, almost, we're, right, we're almost at the 6K mark. But if you actually look back and you actually look at the deaths, as you can see, ever since probably July, they've had one, two, one, two, one or two deaths. And it's probably because it's not politicized. The virus is not politicized in Sweden. They just said, this is the disease. It doesn't look like it's that deadly. People can utilize precautions. You can utilize social distancing. But for the most part, we're not gonna close down our country. We're not gonna destroy our economy for a nothing virus and as a result everybody's real quiet about what's going on in sweden by comparison to what you see in the united states where every time you turn on the tv every time you come across some sort of a politician or some sort of news media outlet it's always the same thing it's always the rising cases but yet as you can see from sweden between some from sweden's example that there's really nothing to worry about especially within a within a culture where for the most part, they have very limited forms of restrictions and people in the way of every in the way of people's everyday life. But of course, if you're places like, for example, in the UK, like in England, where, as I've shown in my previous video, that the numbers do not reflect the need for a lockdown. And in many of these countries, they've utilized things like, for example, mask mandates. And even despite mask mandates, mask mandates. They're not entering a lockdown with mask mandates. And it's like I've said, the more people put up with politicians and people in government uh, basically trying to take over their lives, the more of this you will get. People look at America and they're like, I don't understand why can't people just wear a mask? And it's because people are, I guess, now finally starting to wake up to what's been going on over the past couple of months.